the first must-have VR game of 2022. Today we are checking out Wanderer that just launched today on PC VR, but they did tell me that when they're done with the PC VR launch, they're going to look into porting to Quest, so don't run away if you don't have a PC just yet. This game reminds me so much of one of my favorite sci-fi TV shows. Make sure you watch through the gameplay to the end of the video. I'll let you know what it is, but put a comment down below if you can guess during the gameplay. I'm curious to see if anyone else gets these vibes as well. I am playing this on the Quest 2 through Airlink on my PC, so let's jump in and check out some gameplay right now. All right, this is the very beginning of the game. I just wanted to show you this because it's trippy and awesome. I love how this game starts out. <laughs> I just love how this game starts out. It's trippy, odd, but it sets a great tone for this game. So I just wanted to show you this portion really quickly before we jump into the meat of the game. This is where it starts to get really weird and very sci-fi like. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Look at this. The music in this game is amazing too. This is also where we first learn about the jumping mechanic that this game has. Which is a little odd. Um, it's the only thing in the game, really, that I've come across that I'm not a huge fan of the way it's done, but I understand why they did it. Look at it. It looks so cool. Doesn't that look awesome? Even more weird stuff going on. Hey, it's Amelia. Where are you? Amelia? I don't know where I am. Alright, so I got caught daydreaming. Now Amelia's got my head. That beginning part was uh, was just a daydream, and then it leads us to Boston of 2061. I love the way that this world looks. It's beautiful. You, you can just see the detail in this world is absolutely insane. One of the reasons I love it so much, this opening sequence is just awesome. Uh-oh. Alligator's coming for us. Let's grab the, uh, the <laughs> bat, and we'll take care of them. They're crocs. They're not alligators. Been trapped by these guys, these nutcases that are trying to take us out. Where is it? Where is it? There it is, right there. Get back. Get back. Where are you? Oh, there you are right there. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Hurry up. Start that engine. Here. Thank you. Uh, there. All right. We got this. Break that open. Come on. Open. Come on. Got it. Boom. <laughs> now let's get the heck out of here. This is a true story game, in this best sense of the word. Everything about this just feels like an excellent story, which is why I love it so much. Alright. So Good luck. Listen to the sound design, and the music, and look at all the details. I'm gonna shut up for just a second. Listen to the sound design. <laughs> it's just awesome. I love it so much. Through the window. Keep on moving. Twonkies. You want a Twonky? You get three free Major League Baseball trading cards. Oh, there's some cards in the back, too. Look at that. Sorry, I just love smashing glass. Happy anniversary. Hmm. Oh, some vines in the way. Let's pull these suckers down. Get out of the way. There we go. A mask. What's this? Pale ale. Oh, bouncing pale ale. Watch this. Ready? That's <laughs> so satisfying. All right, there's the building here. This is the building we're looking for. Let's get inside and figure out a way to get up to our grandfather's apartment. Elevator here. We need a fuse to get this elevator working. Let's go find a fuse, shall we? This could be a fuse here. Yep, there we go. Grab that fuse. I don't think we're going anywhere in that thing, so let's take this fuse over here. Pop this sucker into place. Oops. There we go. Push the button. And it's coming down for us. And... Up we go. Cue the elevator music. All right, we've made our way over to the eighth floor now. Let's take this flashlight with us in case we need this. Oh, there's a frog over there. Blue frog. Oh, okay. Hand scanner. There we go. Perfect. Here we are. Oh, we made it in. Hi there. You may come across a look familiar, but try putting me on your wrist. Nice watch. Oh, cool. Like <laughs> There's some cockroaches running around. All right, let's go. Whoa. Look well, at I'll this. 
This is crazy. Look at the detail in these gloves. So when traveling through time, what you do is you actually put the piece, the antiquity, inside of the bottom of the watch. And when you want to leave, you push the button. And I'll show you that in just a second. But look at this dude over here. That's not good. He's got a screwdriver. What happened here? Who did this? As much as I appreciate the scenery, I think we should find out why we're here. I think you're right. <laughs> Something's wrong here. Something's been tampered with. We need to uh, do some work to figure out what the heck is going on. By the way, when you want to leave, this is like I said, this is what you do. You tap the bottom of this, and you pull, and that's it. Hey, everybody! Need some drumsticks. Get playing on these drums. We're in 1969. Look at all this crowd. It's a music festival of some kind. What is that smell, skunk? I don't think it's skunk. Hey there, dude. Hi there. What are you guys doing in here? Ooh, look, one of those things. Let's take that. Nice. All right, here we are. We have jumped ahead quite a ways in the game. We're about halfway through, or at least on the middle chapter. We're about to travel back in time as we've got places to go and people to see. Let's take a bow with us and see what happens. All right, there we go. We've made our way back in time with a bow and arrow. And if I'm correct, oops, I think, there we go. Well, sort of. There we go. There, got it. Now, what did that do? Oh, look at that. It did something. All right, we've got these things now, and now it's time to jump backwards, back to the past, and we're going to grab another item and go somewhere else. All right, before I forget, let's drop that in there. We also need to find our fishing rod. All right, I'm pretty sure I left it with Nikolai Tesla. Let's go back and see if we can find it there. Fishing rod, fishing rod. There's the fishing rod. I need to stop leaving stuff places. All right, let's go back. All right, we got some bait. <laughs> We're gonna go fishing for a frog. Let's go catch us a froggy. Get along, little froggy. There we go. Got it. Hi there, little froggy. All right, now, you are coming back with me. Nope, not there. Right here. Let's go. All right, big fat froggy. How you feeling? Ooh, I ate some of the frog. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Psychedelic. Get this all spun. Let's start in the center. I'm guessing that's straight for the center there. You stay right there, froggy, in case I need any more, will ya? What am I doing here? I'm spinning too much. Uh, that's it, right there. No, it's not. There we go. Got it, finally. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> It's a green flame. What do I do with the green flame? Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. How about this? Can I do this? There we go. Yes! Come on! Let's move! I don't know what's happening, but we're leaving a trail of grass behind us. This music is very empowering. Time to move. Look, I've got the fire, the green fire. Look. See? Okay, where do we go? What do we do? You must first light the fire. Extend the flame you carry and set it up. There, we light it. Light the fire. We did it. Now what? Now, now what? Reach out and take the heart that you see. Oh, that heart. Okay. <gasps> oh. What the heck? I just performed an Indiana Jones ritual. Light the fires! Fire is born! My most precious possession. Chess piece. Given to me by the nameless traveler. The nameless traveler. It's a chess piece. Take it. Ooh! It's another piece. There you go, there's some gameplay for Wanderer on the Quest 2 through Airlink using my PC. What did you think of the game? Let me know in the comments if you can guess before I say what the sci-fi show is, I'll tell you in just a second. I really enjoy this game. It's a time-traveling sci-fi adventure with an awesome story. It's really well done visually. The music is amazing. I think that overall it's just pulled me in and captured my attention completely. Is it really the first must-have VR game of 2022? I'll leave that up to you. For me, it's a fantastic 
fantastic and fun story, probably the favorite VR game I've played over the last couple of months from a story standpoint. It's just fantastic and so well done. If you're looking for a story-based game, and if you love time travel, sci-fi type adventures with some puzzles and some really cool set pieces, you'll probably really enjoy this game. Is it perfect? No, there are some bugs here and there, nothing game-breaking, but overall, fantastic game. All right, I'm gonna tell you what the sci-fi show was. It reminds me so much of Quantum Leap, which is an amazing show. If you have not seen it, you gotta check it out. It's just really well done and fantastic with its time travel, jumping from time period to time period, and even entering bodies of different people as you play through to use that avatar, if you will, of that person to perform actions and affect the future and hopefully save the universe. Really cool story, and I really like how they kind of went in that direction. What do you think, though? Let me know down in the comments. What your thoughts are on the game if you're going to pick it up and if you've played it what you think of it so far and if you want to get the most out of your quest and your quest too don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there and the bell icon for notifications and you can check out even more of my videos right over there thank you so much for watching stay safe and happy questing